Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the episode three of Three Minutes Experience. And today I have with me Karthike Rawat, who is founder of Open Inco. Hi, Karthike. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Vedant, and hello, everyone. Those who are watching uh, again Vedant's video. So, talking about myself again, I am a founder and organizer at Open Inco Community, which is previously known as Developer Student Community. And those who know Developer Student Community or Devs to Com in uh, MLS Local Hack Dillon, they pretty much know well what we are doing. Right now, I'm in a community dev intern at Turing and uh, trying to do work for the community more on that end. Uh, talking about myself more on the community and all you can say tech, uh, tech background. I, uh, I am a, like a TFJS working group member and we are trying to work as in a developer team aspect, you can say. I'm organizing a developer days. Our community just impacted or our program impacted around three to five K people. And where we, uh, where we got a great insights about the we can we just provided the great number of people jobs. And that's a great thing for us. Azure, uh, I'm also an Azure developer community riper organizer. And I have like multiple, like I started my community or the community specifically in Chhattisgarh. And there is no community culture. And I started about 13 plus community in my uh, state. And it is doing great. And yeah, that's about me. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I, I know Karthike has been doing a lot of open source contribution. And that's why today we have with today we have this video three minute of experience of open source with Karthike Rabat. So let's get on our joyride of three minutes where I'll be asking questions to Karthike and he'll be answering and get, letting us know about open source. Uh, do follow Karthike and I over there and let's get started. So the first question would be Karthike, what's an open source contribution? Yep. So uh, in, a, in a very vague manner, I just want to share with you all. Open source contribution is nothing else. It's just like a, there is a project which is available to you. And if you think there is something a buggy kind of thing in that particular project, or you want to add any feature to that particular project, and you are just adding that feature, that's the open source, you can say. And many people thought that open source is for only for coders. No, it's not like that. If you are not from tech background, but if you seem, if you use that project and you see that documentation is not good, or maybe testing kind of thing is not good, and I can add that testing kind of thing, or maybe, uh, maybe improve the documentation of that part. Yeah, you can uh, you can use that. So that's the concept of open source uh, in in a very vague manner. Yeah, that's a great addition. That open source is not just for tech; anyone can do it. So my next question would be that why is it important to be in pods around open source? Like why is it a yeah. hype like open source? Yeah. So talking about my experience, I came from like many of the people in India came from the three tier background. You can say, and on on that basis, I just want to share with you all. Open source gives you a wide variety of networking. It's not only to Indian. You can say, yeah, if, if I'm doing open source, so I will be connected only to the maybe Indian Indian folks. I can connect it to the people who are working in Google, who are working under maybe Microsoft and n number of people. And not only for those, you can say fan kind of company. Uh, there you can connect with the people who are working startup in a like an amazing idea. Like it can be go to the virtual reality, augmented reality stuff machine learning, quantum computing stuff, you are going to the research and also people thought that if you are if you want to go into the research, there is an aspect of going to the maybe in, in for Indians, we have to go for the masters kind of thing. But if you think that you didn't have to go for masters, you can still contribute to the machine learning project. And it's it's in, in initial, it can be a software engineering stuff. But after that, when you connected with the communities, I am working, uh, I'm starting as a software, you can say I am right now, like uh, in this year, also, I am a GSOC student under TensorFlow Org, working for TensorFlow.js projects. But right now, what I'm doing, I collaborated with one of the person who is in, who is from South Korea, and we are just working with uh, some research project and specifically on this UI UX. And so it's a part of integration of diverse kind of area and just uh, collected with uh, during through communities. So I hope so. Uh, I got some hit about the why it is important to involve around open source as a as a computer science uh, folk. And even though you are not from some computer science, it's okay. Uh, it, even it's not important to be an engineer as an engineer, you have to be an engineer to do open source. If you know the basic basics of Git and GitHub, how to do over open source contributions, you can good to go. That's awesome. Okay. So the next question would be, are open source contribution equivalent to an internship? Yeah, many people, uh, it's a controversial question. Why I'm saying controversial is like that because many people thought it's not an internship. Some people it's an internship. 
so um, you can add this to in if you are contributing to any pro in a, uh, i am uh, obviously say if you are contributing to small projects okay but if you are want to adding to your resume try to do open source stuff in a very bigger project if you have a, like a big uh, suppose tensorflow uh, maybe if i am taking an example of azure azure is also some of the sdk are open source so you are still contribute to azure azure products also and it's not only to that if you go to the main website of gsoc many people thought that gsoc is an equal to open source that's a very very wrong myth but trying to be specific to this question you can say it's an internship but i will say it's not an internship for sure because in uh, in internship talking about um, you have to work with the products of that particular startup or of that particular company you have to uh, work with the team yeah again here also you can work with the team it's not like you are not work with the team but point is i am pointing out here is you are just adding some features about it but in internship you are working with the team you are working with the product analysis kind of so there is another aspect to go to it but uh, uh, for this maybe it's kind of for me it can maybe a internship but please don't consider it as an internship uh, but you can still a lot learn so much from open source for sure i just want to say say that also yeah awesome um so you have been involved around and founder of open in course what's that about and what are the roles that open in co plays yep so uh, our community are are a very independent community we work from very scratch we uh, we need any support right now we are working from uh, india those who thought process like uh, for bringing community culture you have to be a gds lead you have to be an mlsa when i started out my community i am nothing like uh, i am not a gds lead i am not a mlsa i am not a github campus expert and just want to share uh, if you need to start with community uh, just start it is not like that you have to be support of this kind of thing we started uh, i started my community around uh, 1.5 year back you can say and on that moment i have nothing i have only my three co-founders uh, in which two of them are from web and and one of the, and one of them are from like ui ux background and we just started it because there is no community culture in my area so it's not like that everyone everyone uh, like you have to be a, like a, uh, because in like many people say like i have to be founder founder kind of thing yeah so it's okay to be a founder but maintaining that founder the tagline to a long term is important right now the main concept mm-hmm. is if you want to help out the folks around you or not that's the main part of it and what i am doing right now with open go i am trying to i am collaborating with different different communities that i started here i also collaborating with the uh, with the other communities who are from maybe maybe in the next uh, next year cities you can say and we are doing for the students and it's not only for students it is open for all my majority is for student by right now because those are the one who can bring out the future in my in mm-hmm. my region specifically so try uh, my main majorly focus in the uh, you can say student but i am also focusing for the profession but again i am i am just entering into the professional world so i can't give a, you can say resource down to the professionals but i am trying for them also yeah awesome uh, and last question would be what are your final piece of advice for someone who is new to open source and who wants to get started where can they go and what can they do yeah so first of all uh, you can be a part of like there is an n number of program is there you can go but again you didn't have to be a part of program to to get started with open source and community specifically uh, i must say be active on twitter do follow vedant vedant is doing great work on that and uh, you can follow kunal kushwaha you can follow many of the many of the gems out there it just like you have to be active in if you are active in youtube and instagram kind of thing you can see them in a doing uh, doing some stuff over that try to be connected with those folks who you feel relatable many will just mm-hmm. go for like uh, like suppose i am just taking an example uh you are from three tier uh, suppose i am taking my example i am from three tier if i follow a people who from maybe from iit and nit and i can't relate to it but it's just like everyone is going so you just go no it's not like that if you if you just go to that folk only who seems to be relatable i uh, why i am relatable to vedant and why i am relatable to kunal kushwaha aditya overoy kind of people because they are from you can say uh, our relatability is just from the three tier kind of concept we didn't have any support we started our own and we just doing great work and i am not bragging about great work it's just like that you can see our work we are doing am- uh, amazingly it's not only for communities we are doing our work also we have doing open source we are doing research and we are also doing for the devrel stuff also so it's not only particularly that we are we are organizing our event so that's the community no community means belongingness if you not created a belongingness kind of concept over here 
then uh, your community can't sustain that's my that's my that's why my community sustain because i i am very connected with my community members i i am trying to talk with them i try to resolve their doubts even though they need any help i i am here to help them and even though i'm not a good person so i try to uh, i try to bring that person in my community so that they can help them out like if suppose I'm, if i'm not a gsocker so how i can resolve that so i can bring someone who who have done gsoc before if suppose i didn't do gsoc so try to be try to create such space where people are very comfortable they can share anything they can talk about on anything even though it's not related to tech community it related to tech or tech communities yeah if if you are creating or impacting that people uh, specifically maybe on your region why i'm saying region before going to global try to reach out to google local that's the power of it if you if you if you can solve the local problems local problems like gds has a concept or google developer student clubs has a concept of it if you can resolve the local problems then you can surely achieve a global end that's a majorly focus about it if you can solve a, a, a small rental problem like go to the rental shop and just solving that problem yeah your impact you creating an impact you you can start out maybe a startup kind of thing if you are into research and you think uh, i have to become a elon musk kind of thing and yeah i have to be uh, like elon musk because he's doing great work in the neural link kind of thing spacex kind of thing you want to go in the research but you know how to get started just just solving small small problems community is a part of it community is a solution to it how like problem is like that there is no a common place where people meet and so, uh, solve their queries so community is the solution so that what i do what you can do if you are in the research kind of thing why i'm saying research because i am a machine learning guy and i want to be in the machine learning stuff so that's why i'm being a part of research kind of thing also so if you want to become create a research community what you can do start start working with the four to five people around you who are interested in research and start with even though you even though there is no research uh, folk around you no issue start with your own start con- creating content on youtube from that start creating your own community and from that people people will join and yeah get together on that and so yeah that's what my final point over there awesome thank you kartik for joining in we our discussions usually goes beyond 3 minute the 3 minute is just the theme but uh, if we talk it start talking about anything it can you know, the knowledge is not in, enough never enough it it can never be limited and thank you for your yeah. words dedication is important to start with anything and continue it i think no other background college or community uh, experience matter it's just if you have dedication you can do a lot of things um, just uh, just a final pointer to all um, those who think i am from a um, um, great college uh, even though in three tier also there is also stages of three tier okay so yeah. just try to be clear that out i am from a town from a town area and many why people very relatable to me uh, in some terms because uh, i have not because those who know particularly from those who are from three tier college they know the value of resources they know the value of opportunities and open source can bring to us again i am not just uh, starting a war kind of there is a competitive there is a there is a going for competitive programming versus open source versus research no explore everything maybe i just want to say in, if you are in your freshman year explore everything um go to the research go to the tech conferences to like just explore it till maybe till, till third year also and then deep dive into your main yeah i if i if i seem i got my vibe like i am a machine learning guy so go to the machine learning go to the research and try to explore more on that and that's the main part because many people what they, they just focus one thing yeah uh, machine learning uh, machine learning ki wave chal rahi hai so go to that there is nothing like that no no just try to explore each and every part don't compare yourself with anyone i can't compare myself with aditya because the condition of aditya is different my condition is different condition of vedant is different condition of kunal is different so try to be yourself keep motivated from each and each and every person i am get moved motivated from vedant his research work in everything and i keep motivated from aditya keep motivated from siddharth kunal and everyone so try to get motivation but don't compare yourself it just like you will be motivated only if you start comparing yourself so be uh, be original and do your work that's what yeah i want to say awesome thank you kartik for jumping into this video and you I, i am sure that our audience has been really benefited today from this video uh, do share kartik and me over there uh, through our on our twitter and do support this video by liking sharing commenting and subscribing to my channel and uh, stay tuned because we'll be having more episodes jumping in in this series So that's about human experience of open source with Karthik Rawat and 
I'll see you soon. And if you want a longer video with Karthike with more information and more insights, then do let us know in comments and I'll, I'll request Karthike to come back uh, from his busy schedule and hopefully he will. So uh, that's it. Bye.